Oh, and what do you know? Another Night Witch. <laughs> I just got back from the lake and I am sun. You probably can't see it that well, but I am sun uh, flipping burnt. Okay, <laughs> that was crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna leave a mark. Anyway, so here today to play some Clash Royale, of course. Uh, main goal, of course, is to get a uh, level two Night Witch, level one, and so we are gonna hop into a grand challenge, see if we can push through this thing, and see if we can't pick up. A legendary uh, it's been a few grand challenges since I've gotten a legendary and so I'm trying to decide which deck to use I've tried this one once or twice it's actually pretty fun pretty quick but I think I'm gonna stick with this deck here and keep on playing I think 95% of the battles that I play against is gonna have the night witch so maybe I'll switch halfway through though halfway through this uh, episode here maybe I'll switch decks and see if I can uh, pick up a win with that other deck that I just showed you as well so this is the deck that I used in the last uh, video, and hey, it's working for me, okay? Uh, we're 3-0 right now. Let's just see if we can get another few wins under our belt before we get that Grand Challenge chest. Oh my heck, we have to get a level 2 Night Witch. When have the bats come out? Have they announced yet? They, I don't think they've announced anything yet, but uh, that should be a pretty fun card, too. Uh, I see a lot of people using the bats instead of the skellies, of course. Uh, we'll zap that side. Uh, instead of the skellies, of course, but I don't know. I just don't know. Um, okay, so that uh, that thing's going to do a little bit of damage. We're going to drop a golem right off the bat. Oh, excellent play on his part. Wow. Did not see that balloon coming. Uh, it should only get one hit off. Uh, yeah, I got one hit off, which is actually unfortunate. Those balloon hits are pretty dang mean. Um, and he's not worried about the golem for some reason. That's why. I, I knew it. I knew he had Inferno Tower. I did. I knew he was coming out big with that bad boy. So we are going to... We're kind of pooched. I'm going to be honest with you. We're kind of in a bad spot right now. Uh, that was a good fireball. It really was. Holy cow. We're going to just rush in here with the Goblin Gang and see if we can't surprise him a little bit. Oh, he threw a log out. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? And we're going to cycle so that we can get a... Oh, man. Where's our Night Witch? Heck, we're going to throw a golem up here. He doesn't have... There's no way he has an Inferno Tower right now. No way. No way. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to zap all... Oh, he does have an Inferno Tower, of course. Why wouldn't he? Just why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he have an Inferno Tower? So we're doing that. We're doing that. Um, uh, yeah, and that push amounted to nothing, too. So that's not a big deal. Okay, so what we're going to do... <laughs> we're going to hold off. We're going to wait for his balloon push. We're going to stomp on that real quick and then we're gonna throw a baby dragon night witch combo right in his face uh, unless we're ahead on elixir which we could be um, it looks like we may be ahead on elixir um, we're gonna do that and here's what we're gonna do there we're gonna we're just gonna crush that we're gonna crush his hopes and dreams there please stop that oh yes okay we're gonna crush all his hopes and dreams there so that was good ish I would say good ish um, he threw out his Inferno Tower, I think, in anticipation of my Golems. That worked out really well. So we're going to throw a Night Witch behind there. See so if we can get a few bats in front. Oh, crap. We're going to have to zap that real quick. Oh, he's got another Inferno Tower? Come on! Get out of here! Get out of here with your sneaking Inferno Towers. Uh, pretty much I ignored all of his uh, balloon action, which may have been probably cost me the whole game right there gosh dang it I'm switching dude I just oh my gosh I don't know man I should have oh. okay so I gotta get obviously okay let's try that again one more time okay I gotta try that deck one more time I am so sunburned dude if you guys cannot see because the lights but so sunburned it burns so bad maybe that's what's hurting my game okay I'm gonna say I'm gonna blame it on that okay all right Getting right into another battle in the old legendary arena game field. This is actually pretty exciting. Uh, <laughs> I miss this arena. It's so green, so nice. It seems like the new legendary arena is kind of dark, you know? You guys feel that way too? But it's kind of cool. It's really uh, got a lot of cool effects to it, but it's just kind of dark. Alright, so he's starting out with a fatty battle ram. 
We should be able to uh, zap all that action. Come on. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I screwed up. I should have put a baby dragon down. I should have, okay? I should have. Um, not too worried about that. We're going to go ahead and throw a Night Witch down and see if we can just take his tower right now. That should take that out. How's that me How's that stinking miner? Like, literally, how's that miner still alive? How? Like, how? Honestly, how? Okay? Whatever. <laughs> we took his tower down. That's all that really matters right now. Okay? And we still got some bats going in there to do some damage. So I'm okay with that. Um, we're going to start another golem push up here since he pumped up. You just keep on pumping, buddy. Keep on pumping. Let me know how that works out for you. Okay. So he's going to do that. We're going to throw a goblin gang down there. Hopefully take that stinking miner out a little bit quicker this time. Can you believe how long it stayed alive last time? I can't. So that's excellent. Um, we should be able to take that out. Lickety split with that action. Boom, boom, boom. We'll do a little that. A little that. Come on, come on. Man, I guess I did not have enough. Oh, excellent. <laughs> the skeletons stopped the battle ram from hitting the tower, but they're still going to take my tower all the way down to almost zero. That hurt, okay? Um, we're not going to worry about it. There's no way we're going to stop that miner. And so we're going to get ready with another push here in just a second. Um, well, yeah, we'll let those things... Oh, shoot, I should have done something about it. I didn't realize they were going to get all the way there and do all that much damage, but they sure did. Dang, holy crap, I should have... i got to pay attention. I knew that he was going to do that, too. I knew it. Okay, now we're up on Elixir. Okay, I don't care who you say you are, but we're up on Elixir. We're in good shape here. We are in real good shape. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to stop his little miner this time. Nope, we're not going to stop his miner. I was just kidding. We're going to throw a goblin gang down there for his goblin gang. And we should have we should have a little bit of a lead coming in here on this tower. And I think this is going to be... I'm not going to call it too early, but I think this is going to be three crown right here. I think it's going to be three crown. Okay. Uh, sure, he's going to throw his musketeers down. I'm not too worried about him. we got two night witches. we got a golem completely not even pop yet on the tower. And we're good to go. That was good to go. Okay, that's a lot... That's... That's a little bit better. This to this night witch, they are so gonna nerf her. <laughs> if I can play her this easily, actually, I'm not. Obviously, I can't. Although she's not that hard to counter too, if you know what you're doing a little bit. So I don't know. I think people can counter her too, just as easy as they can counter <laughs> Hog Rider. You know what I'm saying? If they have the right cards, I think I countered her one time with like one elixir skeletons, and she might have got maybe one shot off on the tower. I bet I'm playing a similar deck here. I bet he has Night Witch. I'm just calling it right now. Yep, called it right now. Okay, we're going to throw our Mega Minion down. Hopefully he gives us a little bit of lightning value. Um, nope, he didn't. Oh! If I would have waited like half a second, like literally half a second longer, I think I would have taken out that Baby Dragon, and I would have been very happy, happy, happy man. Um, we're doing okay, though. I think we should be able to... Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll take that thing down. Not a problem. We still don't have Golem in cycle. How is that even possible? Um, watch this. We're going to throw Golem up here. Come on. Get in front of our baby dragon. There we go. Boom. Yeah. You focus on that for a little bit. Let me know how that goes for you, okay? Just let me know. Just let me know. We should be okay. We're going to take out his skeletons just because they're going to do a little bit of damage to our uh, Golem that I don't like to see. Um, he should pop in a second, take out his... Oh, very good play with the, uh, very good play. Baby Dragon, come back and help out just for a little bit, will ya? There you go. Uh, that was a mean pop. That was not good. That was not great. Um, I seem to be in a little bit of a pickle for some reason. I don't know how I got in this pickle. Uh, Baby Dragon should be able to defend all... Oh, dang, not very well. Holy crap. I thought we were ahead on that push for some reason, but it didn't seem... Yeah, Baby Dragon's just taking us down. Holy cow, that... Mm-hmm, that hurt. That hurt real bad. So, what should I have done differently there? I should have just uh, killed him with the... Uh, should have lightning somehow. <laughs> Somewhere, somehow, I should have done a lightning. Alright, so we're going to push this side pretty hard. Um, just got to remember he has a log, which that was brutal last time. So we'll do that... Um, we're going to throw a Night Witch over here, which may be a bad move. And then we'll throw that there. We'll throw a Goblin Gang down for his Night Witch and a Baby Dragon, just because I know he has the log and he's going to do that action. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
So we'll do the skeletons just to distract his mega minion just a touch longer. He's got two night witches down, which oh I missed him! I can't believe I flip and missed. I flip and I missed his night witch action. That's okay. Holy cow, those bats are just mean. They're just mean, okay? Uh now what are we gonna do with this over here is a little bit of a problem as well. Holy crap, he's got a lot coming our way, guys. Uh, we're gonna need to. Uh, yeah, that hurts. That is painful. <laughs> that is painful to watch. Oh, I fell apart. Okay, I gotta focus more on the game here. Except we're losing, which means we get to open a chest soon. You know what I'm saying? So that's great. We need one more. We did. We just need one more tower, and we get a crown chest. We get to open, which gives us a chance at a night witch. A small chance, but then we got this the uh, four wind brand challenge chest that we're gonna open up here in a second so should be pretty sweet we're gonna throw a baby dragon down right off the bat we're just gonna get in there and get it done um of course he's running the exact same deck again oh no what is this what is this we're gonna go ahead and take that graveyard out with our goblins and our skeletons oh so he is running a executioner which is also a great counter to the night witch of course why wouldn't he be um we're gonna put a golem on this side and then we are going to... Oh, we're going to take out his Night Witch. That was a horrible placed Night Witch on his part. Is that in time? Yes, that is in time. We're not going to take any damage from the Executioner, which is actually perfect for us. Now, the question is, what do we do to back up the Golem? Do we do nothing and wait for him to throw his Executioner down? Or do we do something? We're going to zap those. That's obvious. Okay. Um, and then we're going to put... I'm going to put a Baby Dragon in there. I'm just going to put a Baby Dragon in there, and we're going to take... We're going to go ahead, take that Ice Golem out. There we go. That gives us some value. Right there. This may be a mistake. I don't know. Yep, not a mistake. I think, I think I'm still okay with that 100%. Because that Baby Dragon should take out that Executioner and get a shot off. I'm okay with that. That was okay with me. Okay? Um, that worked out. So now, what do we do? 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 Alright, Tongue DVO. Let's go. Where are we at? Where are we at? I know you're ahead. You've got to be ahead. Um, boom. I'm just going to drop it. We're going to see what happens. Maybe he wasn't ahead. Or maybe he quit. He didn't quit. He dropped his ice cold. Dang it. Sometimes I like him to quit a little bit and see, you know, freebie. <laughs> Alright, so what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Okay. So he's got a lot coming our way. Oh, we're going to throw a zap down. As soon as all that stuff gets... There we go. We're going to zap that just for kicks. We're going to let that get in there. Oh, we're going to throw Baby Dragon down. And then I am going to go ahead and Lightning that. T oh, perfect. This is great Lightning capabilities right here. We're going to Lightning that. And then all we got to deal with now is a couple of few bats. A few bats. And then we got a few skellies it looks like we're going to have to deal with. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop my Goblin Gang down there. Should take out that Executioner hopefully. And then we'll do a little bit of that action. We just got to deal with his Graveyard. Which shouldn't be too big a deal. He's going to poison for some odd reason, I don't know, and then I'm just leaking elixir like crazy. So I'm going to throw a golem down on that side. I'm going to throw some skeletons down on that side, along with a night witch. We'll see what we can do. He's going to clean that up pretty dang well with his executioner, but guess what we're going to do? We're just going to go ahead and lightning, just for fun. Just see what happens there. Uh, and then a zap spell. Does that take out his executioner? Yes, it does. And it looks like the golem is still ta Sometimes I swear you get completely lucky and the golem seems to tank longer than it should and it just works out with the night witch and so I don't know I don't know so we got one tower down which is excellent we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up this crown chest here and see what we get oh come on now come on now some giants that's great we got a giant chest too we're gonna open that up uh, this video, this episode is running a little long, so I'm just going to cut it down now, and then we'll be sure and finish this grand challenge in the next episode, and I will open that chest just for you guys. Uh, thanks so much for dropping by the channel. If you like what you saw, be sure and subscribe, and good luck.